Hey, what's up, guys? Open Gaming here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be playing our, as you can tell by the title, our first episode of Pokemon Go, uh, or Pokemon Go, however you say it, or however you want to say it. So, right off the bat, as you can see, we have a Growlithe and a Pidgeotto and a Diglett sighting uh, nearby. So, uh, not bad, not bad. There's a bunch of Pidgeotos around my house. So, as you can see on the screen right now, we have. Um, some favorite Pokemon, as you can see, they have numbers next to them, or some of them do at least. This is because we're gonna start off today's episode with an uh, eight evolutions. Three of them are brand new to the, will be brand new to the Pokedex. Um, I am a very light person. Let me just tell you, I got this Ponyta, which uh, with 91 IV percent IV, uh, with 681 CP, so it's gonna be a good. Uh, what do you call it? A rapid Ash. We have a Pidgeot with 67 I, uh, percent IV, but we're still going to evolve into a Pidgeot. As you can see, I almost have 200 candy right there. We're going to evolve a Bulbasaur into a IV source, but that's going to be one of the brand new ones. Same with uh, uh, Rapid Ash. We're going to try and get a Flareon or a um, Vaporeon from this 500 CP EV. Now, let me just tell you, the IV on this one isn't that well, as we can see, let's praise it. EV may not be great in battle, but I still like it. Attack, it's the strongest feature, but it will get the job done. So, we're going to evolve this as well into another Vaporeon, hopefully. This Pikachu, we're going to get our first ever Raichu, so that's pretty damn hype right there. We have a Paris with 74.22 IV, and we're going to get, hopefully, a 700-800 uh, Parasite. A Meowth, we're going to evolve this into a Persian as well. I already have a Persian, but uh, I want to get a better one. The Spiro, or, yeah, Spiro, we're going to evolve this baby as well and get, hopefully, a 700 um, Fero. So, oh, Rotata, you be fucking kidding me. Let's see how much CP it's got. Um, 146. I could take it for the candies only, so that's what we're going to do, great throw, nice. Um, so tomorrow we will be going to Santa Monica, so I'm basically just going to pre-record this, and then wait to continue recording tomorrow, uh, when we go to Santa Monica. Uh, I also want to show you guys my Pokedex so far, uh, not the best for my level, see I'm a level 19, I barely got it, look at this, this is sad, Venusaur, ran away, Charmeleon, ran away. Charizard ran away. War Turtle ran away. Blastoise ran away. Needle Queen ran away. Like, this is so sad. I got an error on this fucking Wigglytuff, and it was 900 CP. I was so pissed about that. Golduck ran away on us. Um, Slowbro ran away on us. Dodrio, I ran out of Pokeballs trying to catch this fucker. Kingler, my game disconnected, lost it. Executor ran away. Goldine ran away. Electabuzz 918 Electabuzz ran away. I think I did screenshot that. Uh, Gyarados ran away. Lapras, a Snorlax, and a Dragonite ran on us. Uh, my hair's all sticking up. I didn't even think about doing that because uh, I just instantly wanted to record this video. So. You can see there's two poke stops in my house. Uh, I want to show you guys something. If we go to CP. There was a um, Beedro near my house yesterday with uh, about 509, I think CP, 503. It's right here. Pre uh, not a bad Beedro. It's got Bug Bite and Sludge Bomb, so that's all right, I guess. This is like the first ever Beedro I've ever seen in like wild. I've never seen any one of those. We have a 525 coughing. I finally got one of those. Been a long time uh, since I've been wanting to get a coughing. So I'm going to try and get that to a wheezing. As you can see, we have Sand Slash. And these are our top Pokemon right here. So, uh, I wouldn't say they're all bad, but there's some, there's some decent Pokemon here. That's 791 Pidgeot. Hopefully, our uh, Pidgeotto can get a way stronger Pidgeot, hopefully. So, we're going to pop a Lucky Egg. So, 
and now we're going to start evolving our Pokemon. So, we're going to start off with Spearow, and we're probably going to do the evolutions we already have. So let's evolve Spearow into a Fearow. Let's see if it's good. Let's hope it's good. If it's a good if it's a good spiro, it'll be a keeper. Let's hope it's more than 561. So here we have it, spiro. Oh no. Seven hundred and eleven. Seven eleven. I don't know if you can see that. Seven eleven right there. It's kind of hard because the lighting. So it's got Steel Wing, which is a steel attack, and Aerial Ace, which does 30 damage. Steel Wing does 15, so wow, that's a, a pretty good moveset. I'm not going to lie. That is really damn good. So again, we're going to evolve everything we have for now, and then we'll get to the new ones last. So Meowth, let's evolve Meowth next. See, we'll, we'll probably get like a 700 version, 600 maybe. I'm not sure what the C, uh, CP cap of most of these Pokemons are. There we have it, another person. I had three, but I sold one because it was 110, so uh, I got rid of that because I'm hoping I get a strong one. 775 Persian with all dark attacks, uh, faint attack, and night slash. Wow, those are actually really good. So let's get a, another Paris. Oh no! Okay, thank God I had it as a favorite. I almost pressed transfer right there. So let's evolve this as well into a Parasect. I already have a bunch of these, but I want to try and get a strong one because I've seen people with uh, some that have, a, I think, a thousand? Somewhere around there, almost. So we have a, another Parasect, our third one, I'm pretty sure. 818, not bad. So we got a good Parasect, you guys. A what a move set. Bug bite, not the best, it does five, but we have solar beam, which is one hundred and twenty damage. That is awesome, you guys. That is luck right there. Uh so now we're gonna name this Vaporeon. Now, for some people this never works, but for me it's worked every time. It ha it worked with the uh Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon, so we're going to try and get another one. It's probably going to be a, th uh, a thousand. So, let's see. We only have a hundred DB candy. Almost did. Alright. You see? It worked. Vaporeon. There we go. I don't know if it's just luck. Or... I don't know if it's luck or whoa, 1390. That is a good one. Water pulse, uh, not the best, and water gun, not the best move set, but I guess it's all right. So I told you Vaporeon, and we didn't even name it Rainer. I fucked up and named it Vaporeon, like a dumbass. Uh, but it still worked, so we're just gonna uh, stick with it. Um, wondering if I should power it. Nah, we'll just evolve it. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Let's hope we get at least at 1,000 Pidgeot, because I know 1,000, uh, or below 1,000 is not the CP cap, so. Like, we should be fine. We're probably gonna be, like, right below 1,000 by, like, 2, maybe. Nope! 1,034. Wow. Uh, we have Steel Wing and Air Cutter. So we have the same move set as the, um, what do you call him? Uh, Firo. So that's not bad. We got some pretty good move sets on all these Pokemon. So we're going to remove these from my favorites so we don't get all mixed up. Now we're down to the new one. So we're going to start off with Ivysaur first. So let's get it. Now, the IV on this I, uh, Bulbasaur isn't the best. I think it was like 35 or something, but I'm so desperate right now to get a Ivysaur and get one step closer to Venusaur. I really don't care anymore. <laughs> I just really want an Ivysaur so bad. 
There we go. That's new register to the Pokedex. Seven ninety six. Not the best. Uh, not the best one. I was hoping it'd be more like eight hundred, but we could power it up more. So there's seven seven thousand XP right there. Wow, that was a lot from evolution. So we're probably gonna power up like once or twice. We're gonna get him to eight hundred if we can. All right. So yeah, eight hundred eighteen. Not bad, very good. Um, so now we're gonna get Rapid Ash, and then last but not least, Raichu because Pikachu is my favorite one. So let's go. This is also uh, Pokedex edition right here. Same with the Raichu. Probably gonna get a 900 Raichu. I'm not sure what this Rapid Ash though. Maybe 1200, 1100, maybe. About 1150, I'm, I'm gonna say. There you go, Rapid Ash, baby. 920, 992. Oh, okay. We're gonna power him up. See if. Alright, there we go. 1023. Not the best Rapid Ash, I would say, but I guess. I mean, it was a 91 IV Ponyta, so I was guessing it was gonna be good. Finally. One of my favorite Pokemon in not only the game, the card uh, trade or the card game and the show, Raichu, aka or slash Pikachu. So let's get it. I've been waiting to get a good Pikachu with some good IV to get this because so far I've only had like 200 Pika or 200 CP Pikachus and they were all just decent or just not uh, good Pokemon. So there we go, Raichu. Looking pretty sick. That is beautiful right there. It registered to the Pokedex. Now we have two whole worlds done here. 1011 Raichu. And he's got Thundershock and Thunder Punch, which does 40, and Thundershock is 5. So that is not bad in my opinion. Uh, I'll take it. But if we ever do get another. Oh, what spawn? A Spearow. Just evolved one. If it's better than the one we evolved, we'd be so mad. No, candy's then. Great throw. So extra XP as well. It was like a, I think it's a spiral form next door to my house. I'm honestly not, or a, not a form, a net. Sorry, because there's always spiral spawning in that one place right there. And it ran. All right. Well, what a waste of Pokeball, am I right? So we got some new evolutions, which is pretty dank. Uh. Let me just un uh, take these out with my favorites. That Raichu, though, man. We had such good luck with that. Better luck than the Ponytum. Surprised because right, uh, Pikachu had 80 um, IV and Ponyta had 91. But I, my friend did tell me that Ponyta evolution suck major balls, so I'm guessing that's probably why. But hey, at least we have a rapid dash, so that's new to the Pokedex. I just spelled that wrong. That's embarrassing. We're gonna put them by their actual names. IV. Okay, that one's already done. Persian. All right. So that's those are the newest Pokemon we just got. Pretty, uh, really good actually. Not pretty good. And Vaporeon is now our second strongest once again. Uh, I did have another one in here called Vapor Nord. Which was used to be my second strongest up until I got Flareon, and then another Arcanine, and Nido King, and all of those. Uh, so that has pretty much been um, the evolution for today. Uh, I will see you guys in Santa Monica tomorrow. Anyways, peace. So as you guys can tell from this being the next clip, we never went in Santa Monica. Not even during the Halloween update. Uh, so to end the video off, we're going to do a little bit more evolution. Some, most of these are already in my Pokedex, except for one. So, uh, before we do start the evolutions, I want to say, during the Halloween update, I did catch a 889 Hypno, so it's one CP off from being 900. And we are going to get a uh, Hypno that might be 900 today, hopefully, because I've been having a drowsy since way before the update. Which was 430 something? 437, I think it was. Let me check again. We go up. 435. 
Now, it's got good IVs, so I've been saving this until I've had enough candies, and this Halloween update was the biggest advantage I had to do. So, seeing as Drowsy and Ghastly were the most common this updates over Zubats and Gobats and all the other ones, um, I managed to catch a bunch of Drowsies and a bunch of Ghastlies, but they were all bad, so I sold most of them, except for the Drowsies, I kept the good ones. Um... Besides that, this drowsy we are going to evolve. I did check the CP calculator on it, and it it's a, uh, it's guessed to be, or estimated to be, a 900 CP Hypno. So, also today, in the afternoon, I caught a Wild Jolteon with 929 CP, good IVs, and good attack as well. I would say it's a good attack, because it's the same moveset. And it's Thundershock and Thunder, which Thunder is actually really good. I have it on the right shoe as well, if I'm correct. Uh, no, I have Thunder Punch on the right shoe. It's, it's the other right shoe I have. Um, If we go all the way down to here, I have two right shoes. One of them I actually call over here at the corner of my house, which is very funny. And this one has Spark and Thunder, so it's got really good movesets. Though the CP is only 87, so it's not the best right shoe. But it was pretty hyping. Or it was pretty hyping. It was pretty hyped seeing a um, rare Pokemon such as a Raichu literally right next to my house. Same with the Haunter that I have over here that I also got during the update. Like, I think October 30th? 31st. I can't remember when. Uh, we could get another Haunter from our Ghastly, but although we do have a good CP Ghastly, it's not good IVs. It's a decent Pokemon. Now, oh, we also have a coffee. I don't think I showed you guys that one. Uh... But, because this is the only good Ghastly we have, CP-wise at least, I'm not going to transfer it out yet. Unless we get like a 600, or not 600, a 500 Ghastly. Uh, I'm not sure what the CP cap is. Uh, I don't know if I even went beyond it. As you can see, we have our Ghastly right here, 404. And uh, it's a decent Pokemon, although its attack is its strongest feature. So, that is pretty good. Um... So besides that, enough chit chatter. We're gonna start the evolutions, but <laughs> I just stopped the chit chatter. But we cannot evolve this Ponyta yet. I was gonna wait until I had enough to get another Rapid Ash because I got this out of a 5K, which will be uh, that footage will be shown at the end of this evolution uh, clip. So since we can't do that, we're not gonna evolve that one today. But we are gonna save it for the uh, whenever the next evolution episode is. Also, I want to show you guys something. Uh, I was going to evolve this, but I found out I didn't have good IPs, and that's my Dratini. I was going to get the Dragonair, but when if we appraise it, it's a decent Pokemon. Tack is its strongest feature, though, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm at 22 out of 25 candy, so hopefully next time I find a Dratini, uh, it will have good IVs, good CP as well. Hopefully like a 300 or 400 uh, Dratini. And if it has good IVs, we will definitely save that for a Bay Evolution episode. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to evolve it straight to Dragonite or just wait till I have enough for Dragonite. Uh, Alright, before we set the Evolution, I didn't talk to you guys about something. So, speaking of Dragonite, um, I th forgot when it was. I think it was October 24th or 26th. I can't remember. But one morning, I was at school during the Halloween update, that is. And uh, I think it was like two days after the Halloween update. So, it may have been 26th. I don't remember. Um, we were walking around the school looking for, or, or not a Ghastly, but randomly we were talking about Pokemon Go, there was Ghastly on sightings, then we find a Dragonite on sightings, it appears, but I ran out of Pokeball, so now I've seen two, one from the gyms, but I've seen two caught zero, so until we do catch a Dragonite or evolve one, that is for another time. Anyways... Let's get to the evolution. So we have some pretty good evolutions. Our Geodude cannot go into a Golem yet. I was planning on getting Golem. But I don't have enough candy. So rip. Although this is like the best look with Geodude. Oh, okay, what the fuck spawned? A Nidoran. Alright. Uh, let's go get some people taken. 400. That is a big one. I don't know why. I've never seen a over 300. Yeah, so we're going to Ultra Ball that, I'm kidding. No, we're, gonna, we're probably going to throw a Great Ball at, at this thing. Okay, it's fucking aggressive. Got him, though. Midair. Let's go. Uh, 
Didn't get any bonus XP for it. But one hitter quitter, we got it. Nice. So I don't have any Pokeballs by the way, so if you're wondering why I had to use a great ball, would have used regular ball. If it doesn't have good IVs, I'm gonna be really mad. It's got good IVs. And we're close to getting another Nitto King, so I'll save this Nidoran for another evolution video. Um hopefully very soon if I ever go to like Long Beach or Santa Monica, which will probably be never, so don't expect that video ever. Uh I would do a Pokemon catching video. Oh, this thing's close to Max C P. Alright. I think my game froze. Alright. Well Oh okay, I guess it works right when I open up the app. So we are waiting for the game to load. Though I have the recording uh the screen recording paused. Probably start it back up again once uh the game actually completely loads instead of showing us that cool looking ass Gengar over there. Alright, well, um, game run loaded in, and there's a Pidgey across the street, so we're gonna Ultra Ball that soon. Psych, just kidding. Uh, okay, so let's get back on with the evolutions this time for reals. My fucking charger keeps falling off the phone, dude. My phone thing's dead. Alright, so, we are hopefully gonna get a Vaporeon and a Flareon, because I do want to get a Vaporeon with... Any other attack other than Hydro Pump. I'm fucking tired of Hydro Pump. We go over here to our Vaporeon. We have Hyd or no, sorry, Water, Water Pulse. Hydro Pump is what I want, not Water Pulse. So, we're gonna start off with the Vaporeon. Hopefully, we have good attacks. So, let's um go. Let me quickly evolve this. Hope we get something good. We got a Jolteon. It was probably one of the best I read. Um, uh, Thunder Shock and Thunder. Not bad, but I mean, I was expecting a Vaporeon. This is totally a Vaporeon. You shitting me, dude? What? That worked last clip. So why does it not work? Jol I don't know what the hell I spelled there, honestly. Jolteon. Well, this Flareon, Flareon is a Jolteon. I'm quitting. Just give us a Vaporeon, dude. Just come on. I don't want another fucking Jolteon. I already have like three of them. Only two of them are high CP because they're over 500. A Vaporeon. Thank God. Oh my goodness. Finally! Thank the Lord! Something other than water poles. Thank you, Aquatel. Now, it might not be good, but I'll take it because I always get um water poles, and that shit is weak. But I mean, Aquatel is only like 10, uh, 10 damage more, so. Well, it's at least something better, although the CP is not as good as the one we got last time, I think it was last time. Remember, so we're going to name this one Vaporeon. Probably be named that to, like, I don't know, Lord Nord Vape, I don't know, something. Um, oh shit, we're almost out of Pokemon space, alright, so let's go delete some Pidgeys we have, I'm pretty sure we have a shit ton of those. What did I tell you? Shit ton. We're gonna sell a couple of these. I'm tired of Pidgeys. I don't know if it'll... If it won't let me evolve once we're out of storage for Pokemon. I don't think it will. I expect it not to let us. I'm gonna delete these shitty Pidgeots. Or not Pidgeot, sorry, Pidgeotos. Alright, what else do we have to get at, rid of here? Rid of here, my English. 
I guess we could sell three ponytails and get a um rapid ash again. But I did I have heard that rapid ashes are not the best evolution that you can possibly get. So we're gonna transfer that Rhyhorn. Wait, I didn't I don't remember catching this one. Oh okay, yeah, it's a shitty IV one. Never mind, now I remember it. Until we get a good five hundred CP good IV Rhyhorn, we're not gonna get another ride on. Not yet at least. Oh, also I did get the seal out of a 5k egg, which I think I recorded. I'm not 100% uh, sure. But we did get it, and it's got some really good uh, IVs. Hold on, buddy. So, Tag Songs feature, excellent stats. So, that's a that's a worth evolving. Um, actually, we're going to keep this. It's got a little bit of talks in my finger. Uh, we're going to keep that. But I don't know what to get rid of. The Zubat. Let's get rid of the Zubat. Nobody likes the Zubat. And maybe if we have any Sparrows, the Sparrow? Oh, okay. We can get rid of this Paris that took me like 12 Pokeballs to get. Oh shit, they don't want to stay in there. Uh, I think we already passed Spiro. Yeah, it's like somewhere down here. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, there's Spear. I only have like two of them, so I'll keep those. Um, I think that should be good enough. So let's get back to the evolutions, I guess. Uh, next up, we're gonna get a hopefully a, uh over eight hundred man or prime ape, sorry. Uh, so let's go. We have ninety four candies, almost a hundred. I actually have almost over a hundred on most of my um basic Pokemon or some of my low level Pokemon. I don't know how you would say it. Pokemon you would find a lot more often, like Mankeys, Eevees, and all that. Um, a 967 with Karate Chop and Cross Chop. So we got the same attack moveset. That's good. Um, that's actually pretty lucky. All right, we're going to get a, hopefully, 1,000 Marowak. I think, it was, I think, oh, we have, yeah, as you can see here, 201 candies on this Cubone, or for Cubone. So we're going to evolve it. I forgot what the CP calculator said it was. I don't know if it said it was going to be 960 something or exactly like a thousand or like barely over. So let's hope we get some good CP and good attack moves. I think attack moves are probably like the most important part. So without those, you're pretty much fucked. Oh wait, I named it 832. On a 500 Cubone with good IVs. Not the best Murloc we can get, but it's my new strongest. So we have Rock Smash and Earthquake. They're not the same uh, move types, but we'll take it because they are pretty good. So we're going to get a Graveler, not very special. Hopefully next time we'll get a Golem for real. So we do already have a Graveler. It's not part of the Pokedex. We're going to save that new Pokedex Edition Evolution last. So, yeah, we have a Graveler. We already had one with good IVs, but it was 267. I caught it at Santa Monica the last time I went, which was like three months ago, and it wasn't that good. So, as you can see, Graveler, 626, a lot better. Strong Pokemon, good attack. Keep that in mind. Adorable and tiny, though. Mud Slap and Rock Slide, not, not bad, actually. I was about to say not the best, but then I remember those were actually pretty good ones. We're going to get another Venomoth. I did go one last time I went to Santa Monica again three months ago. So we're going to go and get a new one. The last one I got was like a 640-something or something. I can't remember. This is hopefully going to be a one over 1,000. As long as it's not like below 650, we're good. 1,034, let's go with Bug Bite and Bug Buzz. It's alright, it's alright attack set. I don't think it would be the best attack set we could have possibly got, but it's pretty good. Now, hopefully on this Growlithe right here that we have, uh, we do get some good attacks, because we always get Bulldoze on our, um, our, what do we call them, um, Arcanines. We always get Bulldoze, every time. And that's not what we want. We want to get a really good one. Like, f uh, I think Fire Blast is one of them. I think that was one of the good ones. Oh, it spawned. 
I can spawn across the street. Caught, uh, catch 50 fighting type Pokemon. I didn't know it counts if you evolve them. Alright, uh, there's a Charmander on setting. Nice. That evolves, we'll probably catch it. Or if that shows up, we'll probably catch it. I'm close to getting a Charmeleon. I think I have enough. There weren't much Charmanders around when uh, the Halloween update was live, so I didn't get much candies for Char uh, Charmanders. So as you can see, there's my, um, there was my strongest Marowak, 567. Uh, 425 Charmander is actually my strongest one, but it doesn't have the best IVs. So yeah, we could get a, um, Charmeleon, but I'm waiting to get a good, uh, CP and IV, um, Char, uh, Charmander. Alright, so, oh, oh, the transfer there for a second. We're gonna evolve, let's hope we don't get Bulldoze. Because that'll be good if we don't. If we do, I'm going to be pissed. But, I mean, we two, we do have two chances. Because we do have another Growlithe with 600. And we did have 128 uh, Growlithe candies. I almost said Grimer for a second there. We don't have a Grimer yet. Bulldoze again! Why? Oh, we have the same attack moveset that we get on every other one. I didn't even see what attack or what CP we got on it. Up here somewhere, isn't it? Oh, 1340. Not not bad CP, but come on, bulldoze and bite again. I'm pretty sure this was the Growlithe that had good attack. If it has good attack, I'm pretty sure it's over. I'm not 100% sure. All right, so since this has good attack, we are hopefully, hopefully, destined to get other than bulldoze. So here it goes. Down goes the Arcanine. Finally, something other than Bulldoze. I know it's only like 20 damage more, but it's not Bulldoze. That's the good part. 1447. I think it's my second strongest Arcanine and second strongest Pokemon. So... The ones we've already evolved, we're going to unfavorite those. I mean, they are my favorite, but we don't want them up here because we don't want to confuse those with the ones we are going to evolve. That Jotown, though, dude, I'm so pissed about that. I, I was expecting it to be pouring on. Oh, we, get, we did get one with Water Pulse. Could have gotten something better. Every time I click on the Jolteon, it freezes my phone, dude. Alright, there we go. Oh, also the Marowak and the Graveler. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so next we're going to the Zubat. And on the CP calculator on uh, PokeFind, it said it was uh, going to be a 1,000 CP Golbat. So, let's hope that was right. And let's uh, have our Zubat go up. It goes and then down comes the gold bat. There it is. Come on, please be over a thousand. A thousand and one! Wow, it was one off. Um, I guess that's good attack. It says here it's good. Uh, one thousand one gold bat though. Wow, that's my strongest gold bat right there. <laughs> Literally one CP above a thousand. That's pretty lucky. And we're down to our last two evolutions. Don't mind that pony threads for next time. So Drowsy goes up the Drowsy. And hopefully we get a 900 Hypno. Although we already have Hypno. As I showed you as an 889 Hypno. Um, we're going to get another one. I want another one. A good one though. I'm not saying 889 isn't good. It is. But I would like a pretty better one. Oh, recording stop. Rip. Since I can't record, look at this. 899. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's got some good attacks, though. Not gonna lie. Alright, hold. On. It says I'm out of storage. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're back. Um. So we did get a eight 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 ninety nine hypno. Uh we are gonna power this up. Uh, no we're not no we're not no we're not. 
So we did good confusion, which does uh, 15, and psychic, which does 55. 899. I have an 889, 899. Now, I thought it was going to be a lot better, but I guess not. This one's actually one off of 900, so you know what? Screw it. We're just going to power it up, man. There we go. 929. I feel good for myself. Can't wait to use that in a gym. Last but not least, we have the Pokedex Edition Evolution. Well, I've been saving up for this very long time now. Let's go. Nidorina Hype. So we are going to have a Nidor King and a Nidor Queen very shortly. There goes the Nidorina. Down comes the Nidor Queen. Now, I have seen one, but that was from gems, because apparently gems now count as uh, sightings of the Pokemon. So here we have the... Um, Nido Queen, 1,082, not bad, it's got, um, Poison Jab and Earthquake, so that's not bad either, that's actually a pretty good moveset, not gonna lie, that is pretty damn good, to be honest, alright, yeah, so because we did get some pretty decent evolutions out of that, or some good Pokemon with decent, uh, or good Pokemon with good... CP, um, we, to end off this video, we're going to close up our Pokemon Go, and we are going to end this video off opening up a small little Pokemon pack, I don't know if I'll do this at the end of every Pokemon Go episode, uh, but for the for very first one, we are going to open up a Pokemon pack, I, I was supposed to do this in the Mewtwo video, but, well, uh, <laughs> I didn't know where I left this little pack, so, um, my knife, uh, my handy dandy knife over here in the Walking Dead keychain. I think I just stabbed myself. Shit, mate. So, there we have the little packaging open. I just fucking dropped the card. Oh, God. So here we have the pack. It comes with a Floet card and a coin. So that is pretty cool. So here's a Floet card. It's hollow. It's attacked our Aromatherapy. Heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon. Uh, and then it's also got a Magic Leap, which is 20 plus. And this is flip a coin if heads this attack does 20 more damage and heals 20 damage from this pokemon that's pretty cool i'm trying to get our pokemon coin here we have a pokemon coin for the game just flip it basically now i don't know what pokemon that is on the front looks familiar but i'm not 100 percent sure let me know in the comments if you know what this is leave it on screen so you can kind of observe it for a little bit all right now to do the pack now apparently it's like a three card kind of thing don't know what it is exactly but apparently you get the three cards from the back and you put them in the front and they're most likely to be something good now this we uh age Ren or mini gamer as some people may know him my original subs know him like that but um that's what adrian actually did in the video so not pc and not fold the cards up. Alright, alright. So, here we have a free code which I might give away. I'm not showing the code yet. I have a couple of those which I might actually give away. So, one, two, three. I don't even know what the codes are for, honestly, but I might just give them away to some of my subs. Alright, let's see what we get. A Tangaros, or Tangaros, e evolved version of, um, Tangela. I don't have a Tangela yet in Pokemon Go, so that's that's a cool first card. Ambipom, right here. here. Let me zoom it up. Pom right there. Probably, uh, not sure if I'll tell you the attacks or not. Shielden. She, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what you say. Shielden right here. Never seen this Pokemon. Wow. It's a lot different from what Adrian got in his. Um, a Chimchar. A nose pad, a nose 
pass. And then it does backwards. A Litwick, I did have one of these on with my original cards. Oh, I'm working there. I lost my original cards though, so now I'm making a new collection. Yay! A Dano? Dino? I'm not sure you say this. Dano. I'm just going with Dano. So I'm probably getting a bunch of hate now. Ponyta! I am, we have this as well. Getting ready for evolution. And we have. Wow. Um. We have a hollow or reverse hollow. I'm not sure if it's hollow or reverse hollow. Hoopa. Sounds rhymes with Koopa. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this is a Mega. I can't tell if that's um if that's for Mega or if that's a part of the name. But here it is, the X card. It's I think it's Mega. Agirna. Magirna? I'm, I'm not sure if it's Mega or not. I have to do some research on this, make sure if it is a Mega. Because if it is, this is a $5 pack right here from Target. That is pretty cool if, we, if I got a, me a Mega card of that. A Mega X card. And a Reverse Hollow or Hollow card. That is pretty good then. I might actually buy more of these. Since I actually got some pretty good stuff out of it compared to what Adrian got. He got a bunch of like common cards. Uh, he didn't really get anything good. He did get a Tangler, though, out of it. So, that's pretty cool. Can't wait to show off to him. So, that was a little Pokemon pack opening. If you want to see these at the end of every Pokemon Go episode, let me know down in the comment section below, and I might just do it. And even uh, if it's a big episode, like a um, Santa Monica episode where we're doing like big catching sprees, I might do bigger Pokemon packs than just these little ones right here. So, again, let me know your... Um, uh, let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed today's Pokemon Go episode. Let me know if you would like to see more as well. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. How much? Aren't they usually Five green? Five kilometer. Aren't no, they changed the colors now. Oh, hey, a new Goldian. I, I, I found one at some point, but the book's brand. Oh, hey, at least you got a new Goldian. You don't have a Kangaskhan yet? No. <laughs> you don't I have one either. I have look, look at what I cut hey. in my house, Miguel. Oh, you bitch. Yeah. Hey, he's got good IVs too. I'm sure the hash about just standing here and moving my phone up and down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you go to eggs, there's new colors now. 10 keys of purple. Um, no, I did not play that. My finger orange. I played the one never received. That's how you know the difference between eggs. Ow. Not bad. That's alright. It has good. See, oh! 457. Okay, good IVs, good IVs. Well, we're getting a Dodrio next evolution video. Yep. Yep. Do you have enough candies? Yeah, look at this. They gave me like 21 candies, so I can now get Dodrio. The motherfucker that ran on me. Or not ran, but I think. I'm close to getting a new bell spell. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.